This is the amazing drinking bird. Every once in a while it'll dip its head in the water and then go back up to being straight and then eventually fall back down again and drink the water. And it will continue to do this as long as there's water in the cup. But how's it doing this? It seems to be using the water, but this is a sealed system. It's not actually drinking the water, so what's happening here? Well, we can get a clue to how this is working by looking at it with a thermal imaging camera. So the dark spots are colder here. You can see that for some reason the bird's head is much colder than the water in the cup and also colder than the bottom of the bird. But why is it colder? Well, you can see that the bird's head is made of a spongy material that can easily soak up water. So once it gets wet, the water covers the whole head. But then that water starts to evaporate. And remember that when things evaporate, they get colder. I can take this liquid from this duster can that evaporates very quickly, and you can see how cold this table gets. It's negative eight degrees, negative 10 degrees. So that coldness comes just from this liquid evaporating. Okay, so we know it gets colder, but why does a cold head make it drink water? Well, you can see that the head is just empty up there, but it's not actually empty. It's actually filled with vapor. And if you get that vapor in the head just a little bit colder, then it will condense back into a liquid. And this liquid takes up way less space, so the pressure in the head decreases. So because the pressure decreases, that sucks some liquid up into the tube. Eventually, it'll make its way all the way up into the head. And because the head is tilted slightly to the right, then the gravity will just pull down the head because it's heavier now. Then the bird dips its head into the water that's placed there, and it also empties the liquid in the head back into the bottom of the container. And then the whole process starts over. So now we know that this works by evaporating the water from the head. So the faster we can evaporate the water, the faster the bird will take drinks. And an easy way to evaporate water is just to lower the pressure. So that would mean that if I stick this bird in the vacuum chamber, it should drink much faster. But before we stick it in the vacuum chamber, let's see how fast he's drinking. So I'll start the clock right when it takes a drink and see how often it's drinking. Okay, took its drink. So when I time it, I'm getting that it's taking about one drink every minute. That's almost exactly a minute. And before we put this in the vacuum chamber, let me tell you about the sponsor for this video. No, it's not a VPN, it's Raid Shadow Legends. Raid has hundreds of champions to collect, a super in-depth RPG battle system, and also intense PvE boss fights. As you play, you can collect shards that allow you to summon champions. Let's go ahead and open my shards. Okay, we start off with this cool knight conqueror. Then we have a Neri with her cool flaming sword. And then Tyrell, one of the OGs in Raid. Also, it's that time of year and Raid is going on an egg hunt. Just download Raid Shadow Legends using the link below, copy your in-game player ID, and then head over to egghunt.plarium.com from April 14th to May 15th. And if you find the hidden egg, you'll be entered for a chance to win amazing in-game items and even real-life prizing, ranging from legendary raid champion to amazing gift cards with a total value of $20,000. Go to egghunt.plarium.com and you'll find a special promo code that everyone can use to earn a small gift in-game. So to download Raid today, you can use my link in the description or scan my QR code to get insane bonuses. We're talking about epic champion Drake and other useful things as well. Once you're in and playing, come find me under the name The Action Lab, and if you're fast enough, you can join my clan. So just hit my link in the description and I'll see you on the battlefield. Now let's get back to the experiment. Okay, let's see if it actually drinks faster in the vacuum chamber. Okay, let's turn on the vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. Whoa, look how fast it's going. <laughs> <laughs> it barely has time to even rise before the fluid fills up and it dips down again. <laughs> That's awesome. Look how much faster this is. So this is because the water's evaporating extremely fast so it quickly cools the bird's head. Another way to make this work is just to heat the bottom of it. 
This causes the pressure in the bottom chamber to rise and the volume of the vapor expands and pushes the liquid up. Whoa, that was fast. You can even get it to work just from the heat of your hand. But now let's try to just to cool the head quickly using evaporating liquid from this dusting can. Oh no, that was too much. <laughs> so it makes a huge difference cooling down his head. Okay, I need to stop knocking him over. <laughs> he like slams his head into the water when it's so cold. <laughs> and thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab and we'll see you next time.